Find the angle between 0 and 2 pi radians, that is co-terminal, to the angle negative pi over 9 radians. All right. So first thing is to draw out your coordinates, all right, your, your coordinate axes, I should say, and label them with the respective radian measures. Now, here's the thing. We're dealing with a negative angle, so you know we're rotating clockwise. And when we rotate clockwise now, we, we know the standard values. Then when we rotate into the next quadrant, this becomes 1 half pi. But it's not positive 1 half, it's negative 1 half because we're rotating clockwise. Then this becomes negative pi radians, okay? These are all in terms of radians. I'm just going to leave that out. Then this is negative 3 halves pi, right? And then this would have been the negative 2 pi if we had to keep going. So what I want to do here first is just get a kind of a, a feeling for where this negative pi over 9 falls. Well, negative pi over 9, isn't that the same thing as simply saying negative 1 ninth pi? And if you know that this is 0, and then you know that this represents over here negative half, it sounds to me like negative 1 ninth is going to be, I don't know, somewhere about here, right? It's going to be a very tiny angle in there. So this represents right in here, I'm just going to draw a little arrow, that represents now negative 1 ninth pi. Okay. Now the thing is, this, this side here, the side always, you know, this is always the initial side on the positive x-axis. And this side represents now the terminal side. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to figure out what angle is co-terminal, meaning the same terminal has the same terminal as this angle that I just drew. So we always start this in reference to the positive x, right? We always do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take then this angle and I got to rotate it now. Now notice I'm rotating it in a counterclockwise direction. So I'm rotating it in a positive way. And we're going to rotate that now to here. Okay, so that it has the same terminal. That's what it means to be co-terminal. So what we did was we rotated around this way now, right? Counterclockwise. So this still was zero, but this is now the positive half pi. And this is then the positive now pi. And this is then the positive 3 halves pi. All right, and then this would have been fully the positive 2 pi, but we don't need it. Okay? We don't need it. So now what I got to do is I got to try to figure out, well, how can I do this? Okay? Well, if you know that the full circle represents 2 pi radians, and you know this little piece in here represents, I know it represents negative 1 ninth, but the negative sign just tells you direction. It doesn't tell you actually magnitude of anything. It just tells you direction. So you know then that this angle in here was 1 ninth. Okay? So if you know the full thing is 2 pi, and the little piece in here is 1 ninth pi, couldn't you subtract these two? And when you subtract the two, wouldn't you then find this value? Yes, right? Hopefully that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to do the subtraction, right? So we've got to have common denominators here. So this needs a 9. And to keep it still 2, you need an 18 up there because 18 over 9 is 2. And then you're going to subtract then the 1 ninth pi. Remember, the pi has just come along for the ride. This is like saying x, right? So now it's just going to be 18 minus 1. So that's 17. Don't do 9 minus 9. Remember, the common denominator just comes along for the ride. So it's 17 ninths pi. That's then your co-terminal angle now. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do hope that helped. Please help us out by subscribing, and I'll see you soon. Take care.